Roger Casey here with Burgess talking some more about safety glazing or hazardous locations for glass where we might need tempered. Are there general requirements for windows apart from the obvious? If they're not next to stairs, ramps, landings, doors, wet surfaces, etc., are there conditions which throw a window into the requirements for safety glazing without those other extraneous factors? Yes, there are. So let's take a look at the IRC, section R308.4.3. This is just general glazing in windows. Now, the window to qualify must meet all four conditions. That means the pane of glass is greater than nine square feet. The bottom edge of that glass is less than 18 inches from the finished floor. The top edge of that glass is greater than 36 inches from the finished floor and the pane is within 36 inches horizontally of the walking surface. I'll have an acronym at the end of the video for SAFE that'll help walk you through these steps. So let's take a look at a scenario. Here's a window that's uh, tempered. Let's see if it really needs to be. Let's start checking, uh, running through our paces of the four requirements to find out. First, we'll check the area, length times width, and we measure this, it's eight square feet. So it's not greater than nine, so that automatically disqualifies it. But let's run through the rest of the steps to, to see. The floor is 20 inches away. There's another no-go. Uh, the top is 58 inches, so that's greater than 36. So that would qualify, but it's all four have to be met. And so this window is failing the test so far. An important thing you've got to keep in mind is to always look to the outside. See what's going on on the other side of the window that may create a condition for um, safety glazing. There's none here. The walking surface isn't going to apply. However, if we back up on the inside, there's a door frame to the left. And the window is within 24 inches of the door, so that's why this one's labeled tempered, because of the door proximity. Let's take a look at another scenario here, a triple unit on the back of a house, based on what we learned in the last set of pictures and the proximity to doors, let's start there. We'll check that. Now this one, when we take the measurement, we learned that it is more than 24 inches away from the door, so the door isn't going to be a factor in this case. So let's run through our four rules uh, on these windows and see if that they need to be tempered as they're labeled. The floor is 20 inches away, that's a no. Uh, the height is over 36, that's a yes, but we've already failed one of the tests. Let's check the total area. We can see they're large. Length times width is certainly greater than our 9 square feet requirement. That's 16 and a half, so that would throw it into a hazardous category. Uh, and one more thing to check, always check the other side of the glass, see what's going on. There are no conditions here, such as walking surface or wet surface, that would uh, create a hazard. One final scenario, let's look at a mold unit. Two panes of glass here next to a door. We certainly see that that first window is within 24 inches of the door, so it would obviously need to be tempered. That is a condition. However, the second unit is further away than 24 inches. So does it really need to be tempered as labeled? Well, let's check through our four requirements. Presently, the bottom edge of the glass is 20 inches above the floor. That's a no. The top is greater than 36, it's sitting at 96, that's a yes. And the area of each of these panes is 15 square feet, that's greater than the nine. So it doesn't satisfy all four requirements. So they could, in this scenario, have the pane closest to the door as a tempered and the other pane that's molded to it be non-tempered. Here's the acronym I was talking about, where all four conditions have to be met to be unsafe. The surface, uh, walking surface, is within or less than 36 inches horizontally from the glass. The area of an individual pane is greater than 9 square feet. The floor, and remember this is finished floor, is less than 18 inches from the bottom edge of the glass. And then the edge, we'll say the top edge of the pane, is greater than 36 inches above the floor. That's finished floor. So all four rules have to be met, all have to apply. And as a final picture, you look at these three windows. The far left is labeled tempered. It is not greater than nine square feet. None of them are, and it's not close enough to the door to matter. I hope this helps understand some of the glazing requirements, and thanks for watching.